The Hellraiser Revival in 2022 reintroduces the series' distinctive puzzle box and offers a fresh perspective on its six configurations. What precisely are these configurations? In the film, the box's design changes each time its blade sacrifices someone to the Cenobites. The bearer of the box can grant their request by providing enough victims to the Cenobites to achieve the sixth configuration, Leviathan. Such aspirations, though, might be quite hazardous. Stay tuned as we run down such the six configurations. Before we delve into the configurations, what is the Lament Configuration Box? The Lament Configuration Box is a cubic puzzle that must be solved for the Cenobites to be summoned. People solve the Lament Configuration Box intending to experience experiences unknown on Earth, since the Cenobites came from a realm of boundless joys and anguish. That's why in the first Hellraiser film, Pinhead, the Hell Priest, Doug Bradley, remarks that depending on who you ask, the Cenobites might be angels or devils. Things are not so straightforward in the relaunch. Solving the problem gets an audience with Leviathan, the deity that rules over the labyrinth in Bruckner's remake. In front of this audience, the current owner of the puzzle may request a gift from one of six options – life, knowledge, love, sensation, resurrection, or power. However, resolving the lament configuration in the reboot is insufficient to complete the problem. An audience with God is only provided if the owner solves the first five configurations, causing the puzzle to move on to the sixth and final configuration. What's the catch? Every new configuration necessitates a human sacrifice. When someone solves a configuration, a sword emerges from the puzzle, severing the owner's hand. The incision identifies the victim as a target for the Cenobites, and the only way out alive is to stab another person with the puzzle. As a result, the final reward is only attainable to someone who has sacrificed five human lives to obtain what they desire. When a new configuration is solved, and the Cenobites claim a new victim, the puzzle instantly changes shape, posing a fresh challenge to the owner. With that said, let's look into the six configurations. First, Lament. Life. The Lament configuration is the first cubic condition of the Hellraiser puzzle box, and as a result, this configuration's name is frequently referred to as the Lament configuration. Lament is an ancient word that means life, and selecting this configuration is the only way to free oneself from the Cenobite's grasp while maintaining one's sanity. After the film Hellraiser, Riley decided to use this configuration after she is assured by Jamie Clayton's priest, Pinhead, that she will be given her request to escape the Cenobite if she does not ask for anything from them. The Lament configuration has a price. Riley will have to live with the decision she made during her meeting with the Cenobites and the notion of what she could have done with their power. Therefore, the name Lament for the configuration. Moving on, at number two, Lore, Knowledge. The Lore configuration is the second one to show up in Hellraiser. It's linked to knowledge, most likely of the bizarre cosmology that is only alluded to by the fact that the Cenobites exist. The Hellraiser film set to be released in 2022 does not disclose much information information on the lore configuration, which has the appearance of an eight-sided diamond placed onto a cube to create a chaotic angular shape or its repercussions. Following that, at number three, Lauderont, love. The only thing that can be linked to the Lauderont configuration is a yearning for love. This configuration of the Hellraiser puzzle box is one of many strange forms it may take. When placed in this arrangement, the box looks like a merged pair of pyramids, representing a couple in love. Because the author of Hellraiser, Clive Barker, who is also responsible for Nightbreed, Candy Man, and some highly acclaimed books, has always combined elements of the erotic with his horror stories. The Lauderont configuration may hint at some of the concerns that inspired the creation of the series in the first place. However, the 2022 Hellraiser does not demonstrate to us in any obvious way what capabilities this arrangement may have. Next, at number four, Liminal. Sensation. The Liminal configuration, which takes the form of two crossing trapezoid-like forms, is dedicated to hedonistic experience and further strengthens Hellraiser's links to the sinister side of sensuality. The first time Roland Voigt, Goran Vinci, used this configuration, he was searching for a sensation that was beyond what could be found on Earth. However, he was not prepared for the Cenobite's sadistic sense of pleasure, and he ended up with a metallic contraption embedded in his chest that resembled the shape of the box, causing him endless agony. Moving on at number five, Lazarus, Resurrection. The biblical figure Lazarus inspired the naming of the arrangement known as the Lazarus configuration, which is shaped like a sloping rectangular prison. This plays a part in Hulu's reboot of Hellraiser, in which Riley initially intends to use this configuration to resurrect her brother. Still, he falls victim to the puzzle box while attempting to save Riley from what he believes to be a drug relapse. Riley's plan to use this configuration to bring her brother back to life plays a role in the event. In the end, Riley decides not to use the box in this manner, and it's not clear what limitations this particular ability would have imposed on her. Following that, at number six, Leviathan. Power. The Leviathan configuration, which depicts 
makes the final form of Hellraiser's puzzle box is shaped like a diamond with eight sides and sharp points. The person who now has the box has the potential to acquire the reward that is connected to any one of the other six possible configurations after this formation has been completed. Roland Voigt is given a second chance to choose power, and he takes advantage of this opportunity by becoming a Cenobite. Leviathan is the name given to the King of Hell, who was in charge of the Cenobites in earlier iterations of the Hellraiser franchise. This monarch is represented by a massive rhombus in Hellraiser 2 Hellbound, because this may still be the entity responsible for granting wishes and spawning Cenobites in the Hellraiser reboot. The configuration has been given the moniker Leviathan. Next, why Riley doesn't resurrect Matt with the Puzzle Box reward. Riley's whole Hellraiser narrative is around her attempts to undo her errors. She embarks on the dangerous road of completing the box puzzle and earning a boon to revive her brother, Matt, as soon as she learns about the Lazarus configuration. Her motivation for pursuing the problem is perhaps nobler than Voight's, but it's still self-serving because she avoids accepting responsibility for and repenting for her misdeeds. She decides not to renew Matt, played by Brandon Flynn, from 13 Reasons Why to cast. After recognizing that her wish to escape living with regret is no different from Voight's craving for eternal pleasure, her choice qualifies her for the Lament configuration, which completes her journey by being the first configuration she solves to unlock Pandora's box. Riley's refusal to accept a boon reflects her realization, unlike Voight, that the Cenobites always keep their promises, never in the ways one expects them to. Riley's main plot also reflects her experience of substance misuse. Just like her addictions harmed her relationships with her loved ones, she endangers her pals by compulsively attempting to finish the puzzle. Her encounter with the Cenobites compels her to undergo profound catharsis. This eventually helps her accept the grief and misery that come with being human rather than seeking an escape from her feelings. Her narrative culminates by establishing that the Hellraiser remake is not about a traditional good versus evil conflict. Instead, the Cenobites are used as virtual narrative devices to depict the many moral spectrums that divide the film's human protagonists. Finally, how the puzzle box in Hellraiser 2022 compares to the original film. The puzzle box at the crux of Hulu's 2022 reimagining is far more intricate than the one depicted in the 1987 Hellraiser film. The previous puzzle box only has one configuration that, when solved, summons the Cenobites. Frank and original Hellraiser heroine Kirsty Cotton tackle the 1987 box, which appears to have some form of compulsion that seduces individuals into cracking it. The Cenobites can be expelled back to their domain by reversing the box's solution. In the original Hellraiser, the Cenobites' powers were not especially bound to any configuration of the box, and the obligation to murder other people is also unique to the 2022 remake. These distinctions demonstrate how much more complicated Hellraiser's mythos and the universe have gotten throughout 11 films, novels, and comics. The Cenobites and Puzzle Box are more of a metaphor for pursuing hedonistic pleasure at any cost in Clive Barker's original narrative. In contrast, the 2022 Hellraiser adaptation presents a considerably more precise and intricate depiction of what the Cenobites may do to and for people who summon them. Suppose the Hellraiser reboot is successful and leads to other stories in the same vein. In that case, they may go deeper into the meaning of all six configurations, the depths of the Cenobites' domain, or perhaps the laws controlling other puzzle boxes in the Hellraiser universe. Which version is more intriguing is entirely up to the viewer's preference. That marks the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.